How's it going guys, Headbangs over here bringing you to another tutorial video. Now this one is going to be on Vegas, uh, and the main issue we have here, if you're in the same boat as me, basically I've just got a new webcam, I want to have a nice webcam on my videos, however when I drag the image in it looks like this, I've got way too much background and I want to cut it and get it in the top left corner. Now a few of you might be here because of a, a few separate issues, but we've got ourselves all nicely and tuned up, ready to go, just got to move the webcam into position. So first things first, all you're going to want to do is go down to the bottom right of your clip here, which is the event pan and crop tool. You're just going to bring it up and it's going to bring you to a little menu like this. Now this will enable you to control the size of your image and also the left to right of your image. But you will see, let's say we want, okay, I want about that, obviously not that size, but when you move it to the left or the right, you can see it blitz into the, uh, the other side and it won't let you go all the way across. Now the simple fix for that is very easy. All we're going to want to do is you're going to see source here. It's going to say maintain aspect ratio. You're going to want to go on this and click no. This will stretch your image, guys. As you can see there, what I do is I simply just go ahead. We go ahead and we click on the lock aspect. This basically keeps it so when we move it around like this, it always keeps it the same size. If you click on it, it locks that down. So you can do whatever you want. Now, I just kind of get it to about where it should be. Uh, you, there's probably another way you can do it properly, but this is basically what I do. You know, I, I take it off. This will also enable you to, if we lock it again, it enables you to go all the way to the sides of the image. So that's pretty damn tasty. So the second part of what you're going to want to do is obviously we've got far too much background in this image. We don't need all of that. It's going to fill the screen up. I want it in the top left corner. So what we're going to do, we're going to make it about the size of what we want here. So I want to be, so you're basically making the image the size that you want you to be, not the whole image, just you. Uh, and obviously we want to be in the top left. Now I would say that's pretty good for me. I'm pretty happy with that. But obviously we still got all of this horrible stuff here. So what we're going to want to do on the same video event FX, we're just going to go and you can see mask. It's faded out. Just tick it. It'll bring you to a whole new set of tools. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to click on the triangle. Now it's already selected for me because I've used it in the past. But it's called the rectangle or square mask creation tool. You zoom in on your image. And you simply just highlight yourself of where you want your new image size to look like. You know, what you want the new image to be. So I would say that's pretty good. You can get it as tight as you want, make it as big as you want, as small as you want. Okay, so once you're about happy with where you want your masking to be, so I'm pretty happy with that. That would be about as good as I want, but you can still see we're not quite on the side yet. You simply just go back to position again. Go back to your moving tools. Make sure this is uh, on move freely. If you're like this and you're wondering why you can't move up and down or it's on the opposite, it's on vertical and you don't know why you can't move it left and right, just keep clicking it until it goes to this. That enables you to move it as freely as you wish. Now, once your crops and you're happy, simply just drag it into the corner that you want and boom, there we go. So in our video, our video will play out in the background. We've got our webcam here. I hope that helped. If we didn't cover quite what you needed in this video, go ahead, throw it in the comment section below. I'll get you as quickly as I can and we'll try and sort the issue out for you. But there you go. If you've got your new webcam, you can now put it into your image. Remember that when you do uh, free up the aspect ratio of the video, it stretches out. Remember to go ahead and put it back to about where it should be. Otherwise, you're going to look really distorted in the video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped. If you need anything else, like I say, drop it in the comment section below. Subscribe for more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.